Well, hello there. Welcome to or back to my channel. And today we are going to be exchanging my screen time for reading time. Y'all heard that right. This is the vlog where we are going to be changing my screen time for reading time and Lord help us all. So before we dive into what this week of swappage had in store for me, I, I do need to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Ana Luisa. So I'm sure that if you have been following me for any amount of time, you know that my favorite place to get jewelry is actually Ana Luisa. I'm wearing a necklace from them that I've had for quite a while, but I also have some new pieces that I'm excited to show you while I tell you a little bit more about them. So Ana Luisa is a jewelry company that really, really focuses on both being incredibly affordable but also sustainable. So all of their jewelry is made from recycled metals and it's such high quality at such an affordable price. Truly I haven't found anything like it. They have such unique pieces. I love 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 all of the different styles of bracelets that they have. I love their rings as well. They are so good at being stacked together. I really like the different styles that you can come up with on your own for your own style. I personally really do recommend the these as gifts for friends or family, especially with the upcoming holidays, because I think that they have something for everyone on their website. It's just, they're so versatile and beautiful and I love it so much. I genuinely am wearing a Anna Luisa necklace probably in every single video that I post here and every day. I just pretty much don't take it off. If you would like to try out Anna Luisa, I will leave the link and code down in the description. As always, you can browse for yourself, grab my code to get some money off, and let me know down below what you did grab if you decide to grab anything. And thank you once again to them for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into what this video is. So I don't think that this is a foreign concept. I don't think that this is like, you know, oh, I created something new and fresh. I've seen a lot of people do it. Specifically, I saw a lot of people do it on TikTok, so I wanted to do it. So what we're going to do is cut to old me from now, I think it's almost like two weeks ago, who had randomly on a whim decided to embark on this journey. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. So, yes, I have decided... <laughs> I'm nervous already. I'm doing a video. This is gonna be, I, I don't even know how many days I'm gonna do this. It's at least a week. I'm gonna do this for at least a week. You've already seen the thumbnail, probably already seen my reaction via the thumbnail, uh, and then the title. Uh, I am swapping my screen time for reading time, and I can't lie to you. I am embarrassed <laughs> by how much screen time, but this is what I've also noticed. When I read more, then I'm on my phone. I'm also working out more, I mean, by like walking and stuff, because I really like to walk and read, and I'm also happier. Uh, I also have noticed, and this is not something that is just to me, I know a lot of people go through this, I am on my phone a lot more when I'm feeling down. I am more prone to just like scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on Instagram endlessly when I am feeling blue. I want to see if this helps. I'm going to start out for a week, but honestly, if it goes well enough, maybe I'll do this as either a series where I need to like rein in the screen time or I'll do it for longer than a week in this vlog. I don't know yet. I don't even know when this is going up. This could also not see the light of day. This is just for me right now, but I think that this could be a really good experiment. It could be interesting. And honestly, it's to hold me accountable because I think that an average of nine hours a day on the phone is ridiculous. And there's no reason for me to do that. So I am going to take out Peacock, that app, because I was watching um, Real Housewives via that and take out like Netflix because that's stuff I'd watch on the TV. And I'm not going to tell myself like, oh, you can't watch TV. You can't do anything like that and I can watch YouTube but it's mainly TikTok and Instagram. I don't really think I need to be on that more than like an hour a day I would say because what am I even doing on there and what it is is when I'm waiting in line somewhere if I'm waiting in line at Starbucks if I'm just like sitting in my car waiting to go in somewhere for an appointment I just get on there out of habit and I want to break that habit so that's kind of like what the purposes of this I was really inspired by a few of the 
book talk vlogs I saw doing this and I was like I know people have been doing it on YouTube as well so it is now my time to do this and hopefully you are seeing this hopefully this sees the light of day but either way I think it'll be fun so what you can expect in this video is I'm going to check in each day today is Tuesday so I'm not going to start it today I'm gonna start it tomorrow morning so I'll see you in the morning and we're gonna just start bright and early and just read as much as we can or as much as the screen time says which is nine hours uh, I'm gonna do the math and I'll come back to you each day with like how much screen time I need to either aim for or just be embarrassed that I cannot reach I'm not gonna go over like super in-depth the books that I read in here because I do weekly vlog and I always go into depth about my thoughts and feelings about Books in my weekly vlogs so those are already up on my channel in the thumbnail it's included like the book covers that I discuss within there so you can just like look on the channel if you specifically want a book that I mentioned in here but I will mention like the book how far I got into it the page count how many pages I read and we'll just see in comparison like how much I could get done and really it's not even how productive I can be because I kind of want to also train my brain that relaxing and watching a movie with my partner or like chilling and hanging out with my family like that is also productive because I think that that's good for you and I also think that I need to reframe how I view productivity because it I can be productive without like having finished six books in a week you know what I mean so yeah we're gonna see how it goes but I'm not taking away my real housewives time I know myself this will not go well if I do that but I'm looking at all the books that I could finish and man I think we're gonna have a week I do think actually for tonight I'm gonna edit this literally in the middle of it I'm gonna do tonight I'm just gonna read as much as I can and I'll show you guys how much I read um, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow morning and then tomorrow morning we'll get into my actual like legit how much I need to read that day this is oh, this could be good <laughs> Okay, good morning and welcome to the first official day of this challenge. So, just for funsies, let's expose my screen time. Um, so we'll do last week on Monday. Nope, Wednesday. That's the day it is. Oh, that got worse. So, let's take out... Yes, it is 10 hours. Alright, so it's technically a total of 9 hours of screen time that I didn't need to be doing. Because some of it's like emails. And things like that so i mean i have to do that uh and this is also taking into account all my devices not just my phone so anyways let's go ahead and screenshot that just a little healthy dose of reality and yeah okay so yesterday i did say that i was going to do some reading and just see how far i got into a book so i showed y'all what i was at i was at chapter 11 of hello savage lands in my kindale so i got to chapter 20 and chapter 11 was page 113 and i got to page 236 so that is one two three i read 123 pages last night and honestly really what happened was i got tired of watching youtube and so i finally turned off my phone on the tv and then i just read like for an hour before i actually fell asleep but all i'm thinking is like imagine so that was only an hour like 100 pages an hour i could read 900 pages today if i read for the nine hours i'm gonna try my best to read for the nine hours but Anyways, now a check-in. So I'm still reading Savage Lands. I'm on chapter 20, page 236. There's 423 pages in here. I have two hours and 33 minutes left of the book. Allegedly, that should work. I think, I know a lot of people use their timers to do this challenge. I have this app that I'm kind of obsessed with and it is called the Forest app. And it looks like this when you open it and then you can like choose what tree you want to plant. And we're gonna do, we're gonna make a pumpkin patch today. So we're gonna plant pumpkins while we read and just turn that all the way up there. So you can do two hours at a time. This keeps you off of your phone. So I won't be able to look at my phone. So basically I'll do four of these, I guess four, and then I can slide it down to make nine hours total. But we're gonna read for nine hours. Okay, 
I do have reading sprints tonight, so I will technically definitely be reading during those, but it'll still be some screen time because I'll be on my laptop hosting them, but it, what, it's, it counts as reading. But also up here on the top of the app, this is literally not sponsored by them, but Forrest, my email's on below. But you can choose like deep focus. I've never seen plant together, but I think the plant together one is like if you want to plant with friends and then if your friend fails, we all fail. I would get really mad about that, so I'm not gonna. But uh, yeah, deep focus means that you cannot go on any other app or your stuff will die. That'll be what I do. I just have to answer a few emails and then I'll start this. But I'll, I'll check in with you guys after the first two hours. <laughs> So ignore the mattress in the back, that's a thing. Um, finished Savage Lands, and I did so in less than two hours. So it is an hour and a half later. I already finished a book. So I read 200, I think 220 pages. Nice. I'm debating what I want to read next. I think I'm going to pick up a romance or just something more lighthearted. I was thinking of reading The Kiss Curse because it's a fallish, but also I was thinking about picking up the second book to what's it called the thousandth floor which i think is called these dazzling heights basically i just want to read something that's not on my kindle right now because i was looking through everything on my kindle and some stuff sounds good i downloaded the next book after savage lands it's only 280 pages so i could probably finish it in a couple like another hour and a half or two hours i kind of want to read something physically and something not dystopian or fantasy and these dazzling heights is sci-fi and then this the Kiss Curse is a romance. So those will be one of the two that I pick up. I've already finished a book. Day one. Pretty nice. Life is in a stream. The ocean calls okay, hi. So it's a little bit later. Um, it's later than I wanted to check in because I got distracted with having to go get the target order and then getting my new headphones set up and then getting food, but I'm back. Hiya. It's, ooh, let me pause that. I'm doing a walk right now just to like get some steps in on the treadmill, but I forgot to freaking update you guys. So doing that first, but I, um, here we go. So I've decided this one is the next fantasy book I'll be reading. Uh, and then I went through these two and I wasn't feeling it. Although I do think that this sci-fi one will be the next sci-fi that I read. So I kind of have each genre lined up, but the one that is sticking with me is love in other words. So in about 30 minutes, I read 48 pages and yeah, I think my phone is in the other room, but I think that I've only read so far for three hours today, which isn't great. That means I need to read for six more hours. It's almost five. So I'll be reading until 11. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to get through it. The Lord led me to it. He's going to lead me through it. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. Let's go read this book. Okay, hello. So we uh, are closing in on hour number five for today, and it is 6.30, which means I have four more hours, so we're still kind of on track. I'm on page 168 of Love and Other Words, and my dog is eating. <laughs> so if you can hear that, that is in the background. That's Jake. But this book got so cute, I had to pull out the tabs, which I just got new ones, and I love them. And I just got these new pins from Target, and it all matches, and it's cute, and I'm having a great time. And I'm reading a lot. I'm reading so much. I just can't believe how much I could read if I'm not on my phone. I can't. I just, it's crazy. Y'all, I've made a grave mistake. It's 8.30. It's, a, oh, it's 8.45. And I have two, I have Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion and Salt Lake City to watch. And I still have to read for three and a half hours. But I'm almost done with this book. I'm on page 307 now. In five and a half hours, I've read almost 700 pages. <laughs> Well, that's a really big roundup. Let's just say 600, but that's still pretty good. Um, but I'm going to take a break for my mental health and my well-being, and I'm going to watch girl and women fight about nothing on TV, and then I'll get back to reading this, and then probably pick up my fantasy book. But we'll see. We'll see. Hey, guys. Good morning. So it is day two of the challenge. I've realized this is just the reading spot, so a lot of this is going to be here. Um, I have three. I have three looks, and that's it. 
here in my office in that chair or in the bed. I'm currently baking a croissant, wee wee, and I am gonna get us set up for the day. So today is Thursday. So last Thursday, I spent less time than I did Wednesday at nine hours and 59 minutes, but I did do the math to make it to where that's like actual time, not TV and stuff, which I am going to stop watching Netflix and stuff on my phone because I think it's better for my eyes. But anyways, sorry, I just did the dishes too because I'm just a productive queen. Today, the goal is to read for six hours. I think that's much more doable than the nine hours yesterday. As an update yesterday, I did read eight and a half. So I got really close, but no dice. So we're gonna try again today. And what I did last night is I started three different books because Indecisive Queen. So on my Kindle, I started Twisted Games, which is a KU romance. Then, oh, I forget to tell ya, I finished Love and Other Words yesterday. Awesome, right? Yes, hi. So I did start These Dazzling Heights, The Dazzling Heights. And um, I, I read so much, I read the word prologue. Anyways, then I also have Rebel Spring, which is a YA fantasy. If you like Game of Thrones, but you want YA, right here. And I read up to page 38. And in Twisted Games, I read up to chapter 8. So those are the three. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with, but I'm just gonna read for six hours. So if yesterday I read for eight and a half and I finished two books, I think I should be able to do the same with these. And these are not super dense books because I am thinking about an adult fantasy that I wanna pick up after I finish, like all the books that I've kind of started off already. But yeah, we'll just see, we'll just see. But this is going so far, honestly, really well. Okay, hi guys. Um, so I'm not even gonna lie to you. This day is gonna be rough because I have a headache, which started pretty early after I woke up. So I have only read for 25 minutes today. <laughs> Boo, boo, the crowd goes boo. Luckily, I only have to read for six hours, so we are seeing a movie in three. So I'm gonna read as much as I can up until then. I did go get help <laughs> in doing that, and we're just gonna see where it goes. So I'm gonna set this puppy for two hours, because that's probably about how long I have. We're just gonna plant it and put it away, just see how it goes. Okay, hi. So first of all, it is October 21st, so happy midnight stay. Uh, second of all, let's talk about my failure from yesterday. So I only read for three hours yesterday, which is half the time I'm supposed to read because anxiety. She's constant, I'll say that, she is consistent. That's at least true. So I didn't read as much as I'm supposed to, so we're gonna extend this another day. So I think that I had it up for Sunday. So we're going to add in a Monday and maybe Tuesday as well and make it a full week thing because I did not, I started this on a Wednesday. So I just, what I don't want to do is use one of the days that I've already been trying to actively do this because it won't be accurate to how much I'm typically on my phone, you know? So anyways, today <laughs> is an eight hour day. Technically I was on my phone for eight hours and 48 minutes, but some of that was watching on the Peacock app so I'm not gonna count that because watching TV to me is not I'm not equating that it really again it's TikTok so yesterday though for this book I got to chapter 10 page 122 so hoping to make progress and then in Twisted Games I did get to chapter 13 last night page 127 so we're at a pretty solid place in both of these and I would love to finish at least one today. I think realistically in eight hours I can finish both, but I'm going to put on my fall room ambiance and then I'm going to get to reading and we're just gonna see. I think, cause what time, it's 11.33 a.m. right now for eight hours ending at 7.30. So probably realistically we'll end around nine or 10 because I know myself and I know that I'm gonna take breaks to like eat or something. Let's go. These two books I think think I can finish both of them and I'm also in such a physical book mood but I already do know that I have another fantasy book and another romance that I already have lined up in the noggin that I want to move on to as soon as you're done. When I have this whole experiment is making me want to read more and when I already have my next books in mind I'm more excited to read the books that I already have which I just but with the power of Anna Huang and coffee on my side, no one can stop me. So let's go. Cheers.
Hello, hello, hello. Hey. So it's a new dawn, it's a new day. It is Saturday. So yesterday, okay, let's celebrate because I did read for the allotted time I was meant to. I actually read for six hours and 35 minutes. So what do you think about that? And your answer should be nice. So I, uh, I'm gonna start today. I've already read for 30 minutes because I stayed up past my bedtime and read a little bit to finish Rebel Spring. So I finished another book down and I did go to the I say library. It's literally my book room in the house and I grabbed the third one, but nay nay. I'm not gonna start it because I also yesterday read half of The Weight of Blood and this is a YA horror, highly recommend check for trigger warnings. Uh, I have read over halfway actually. You can see my little bookmark just barely there, yes. I can't tell. I'm really quite enjoying it, I have to be honest with you. But I am gonna tally up really quick and I'll come back to you probably the next book that I finish. I'm gonna say how many pages I've read thus far during this experiment because we're Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're only full three days in, but I think that I've finished three books. <laughs> okay, but I have fuel. I have spite and I have books, so we're gonna get started in here and ha and bye. It's Man, if there is one thing I'm gonna provide you, it's 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 the good angles. So I'll put a picture of the book <laughs> instead of trying to hold it for y'all. But I did just finish Twisted Games. It is uh, 4.18 and I have four minutes left of this little sprint that I'm doing. But that puts the fourth book I think I finished this week. So that's pretty good. Okay. Hello everyone. So it is a Thursday and I am just gonna do one more day of the screen time just to get close to a full week because this video is going up next week and I thought, you know what, let's do another one. So I'm not gonna have a specific time for this because honestly my screen time has gone down quite a bit. It is starting to go back up a little bit because I am just, I'm getting into more planner stuff because 2023 is coming up. So I go on Instagram for a lot of that. So that's why it's going up but we need to we need to get that to go away so if I can't do it another one of these vlogs will probably happen let me know if you'd be interested because I really enjoyed filming this so I would love to do another one today we have one book and one book only that is the focus and that is Miss Legendborn because the tripod that I'm using currently is Bloodmarked, the second book. I got it early, like earlier than I was supposed to, because it came out um, through a Book of the Month and I got a box from them for another video. So very exciting stuff, but it means I want to read this. So what I did is I downloaded the audiobook from my library to listen to it while I am reading it. If you have not tried that before, I highly, highly recommend doing it, especially if you're new to fantasy or you've already read fantasy. It is such an immersive experience, y'all, to have them both going at the same time. Like I, I just highly, highly recommend this little duo. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get it for six hours. Let's see how that goes. Someone stole my spot. So now we're down here on the ottoman. <laughs> Reading. Here's my sweet setup. Hey, hey, hi, hello. So it is now 4.55. I've been reading for three hours, so we're halfway through today's hourage. Honestly, we're doing good. What? Uh, but I got to page 257 in three hours. So I'm averaging like 100 pages an hour. But honestly, I probably would be reading more if I wasn't listening to the audiobook, but I am 53% of the way through, so that's pretty good. Uh, next, though, I am debating if I want to continue with this or if I want to read Weight of, or finish Weight of Blood. The Weight of Blood? The Tiffany D. Jackson book that I did start earlier in this vlog. I didn't finish it because anxiety, but now I'm kind of back in my horror mood. And I feel like I should finish it because we started it and I should start books that, no. I should finish books that I start. I should also complete sentences properly, but here we are. Okay, 
And all of what you just saw led us up to where we are today, which is back at where we were at the intro, but now we're done with the video. There are things that I could say that would phrase things better, but will I do it? Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> okay, so I did actually end up finishing two books yesterday. I read for almost seven hours. A lot of that was audiobooks. I don't know why. I just all of a sudden got really into my audiobooks. I decided to clean out my office. So that's going to be in the weekly vlog that was up before this one. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it. But I ended up finishing Legendborn and this chunker is just over 500 pages. So I read all of this in one freaking day. So go me. And then I also finished up the last half of The Weight of Blood. So in total, I read, let's see, how long is this? I want to say I read almost 700 pages. So I averaged about 100 pages an hour. I read 700 pages in one day. This is what focusing looks like pals. <laughs> and it's not something I do often. So you know that, you know that Jack Sparrow thing. I hope everyone was paying attention because I will not be doing that again. Me. Unless you enjoyed this video, then I will definitely do it again. But I kind of like these experiment videos where it's not exactly that I'm following a specific stack of books or anything. It's just kind of my life, the books I'm deciding to read at that point, and then just adding a little bit of a challenge element. And I'm not gonna lie, this challenge kind of ruins social media for me. I will like open Instagram and then and I just kind of stare at it. And I'm like, mm, I could be reading a book. And then I just go read the book, which I mean, imagine. And you know, there was a point in my life where I had no social media and this like was my life. This is all I did. And now I think I'm kind of getting back into that. So honestly, I don't think it ruined anything for me. It just opened my eyes to how much time I was spending on social media that I truly didn't need. Like I, it's also making me enjoy when I do go on more. So like I'm enjoying watching YouTube videos again because I'm not just constantly online doom scrolling. If you don't know what doom scrolling is, look it up. I guarantee after this panini, we're all doing it. I think it's unavoidable, but you know, I'm trying to reroute the brain calculations. But anyways, that's, I finished so many books in this video. I'm so happy with that. Let's tally it up to see the total that I finished want to. So let me go to my story graph. If y'all don't know, I did delete my Goodreads because I was pressuring myself with it. It was not fun for me. So I deleted it and I decided to just do story graph, which you can make it social media or not social media. And I am a hermit now, so it's not social media, but let's go over it. So I finished Savage Lands. I finished Love in Other Words. I finished Rebel Spring. Finished Twisted Games. Then I finished Legendborn and I finished The Weight of Blood. So I want to know how many pages that was because I know that this was technically I oh my god it is pouring rain outside okay squirrel brain turn off I know that I like split this up at the last day just because if I had some like personal stuff I had to do but I I wonder if the next challenge should be like if I do it consecutively no pauses no breaks no sleep bus club another club another club another series another book I bet I could really like I could read a lot so I read 2,600 pages in a week. Just to put that in perspective for myself, I have been struggling to get through Oathbringer, which is 1,200 pages. I could have read that twice. And then another like YA fantasy in a week if I just did this challenge. So I think I wanna do it again. Let me know if you'd be interested. If not, to be honest, I'll just do it without vlogging it. But I think it's kind of fun just to see like how many books I can finish. I like I'm into it. I know that, you know, some people do like a month long challenge. I don't think I could do that for the same reason I'm bad at month long readathons. Like it's just too much time I feel for like my attention span. But anyways, that doesn't matter. This video is over. So let me know what you thought. If you've done this, if you want to try this on your own, if you want to see me do it again, because I kind of want to do it again. I can't lie to you. I think the next one I'm going to do is reading for 24 hours. So just stopping and starting the clock whenever I am reading just to see collectively how much I can read in 24 hours but not consecutive because I'm not gonna stay up. I'm not sacrificing sleep. I'm too old for that. It wouldn't be a fun time. So leave an emoji down below. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm fe oh we should do a fall leaves because next time that y'all are in here I just ordered a little Christmas tree for this corner for my streaming and then I'm gonna put up some tinsel and some garland and stuff so 
It'll be gone. R.I.P. the fall leaves. But I'm gonna keep the pumpkin because she's cute and so am I. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. That's the order those go and wherever you're at. Thank you to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.